All right, Ryan is with us in uh, Phoenix. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Hi, Hi Ryan. How are you? Good. How are you? How can I help? Good, good. Um, we had a quick question for you in regards to um, both uh, my wife possibly quitting and how we're in uh, baby step two. Mm-hmm. What does she the make? first question is, what's that? What does she make, your wife? She makes uh, twenty nine thousand a year. Okay. What do you make? I make uh, seventy two. Okay. All right. So we're at a hundred k. And how much debt do you guys have? Not counting your home. Uh, about a hundred and thirty five. Good lord! What is that on? Uh, student loan debt for the most part. That's a hundred and fifteen. Uh, two cars, which is about twenty. Mm-hmm. And I understated my debt because we have about six thousand in credit card debt. Okay, so it's like a hundred and forty-one. Yeah, about that. Yes. Okay. All right. And uh, two cars that are twenty each or twenty total. Twenty total. And break those down for me between the two cars. Uh, so ten and ten, pretty pretty close. I'm pretty to even. The same. Okay. All right. Yeah. But just the big bulk of it is student loans. Who's the doctor or the lawyer? Uh, I'm the CPA. The CPA. Okay. So you got a master's yes. in accounting. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. And, uh, and so she wants to quit the 29,000 and come home. How many children do you have in daycare? We have one in daycare and we were contemplating whether to have another one sometime okay. soon. Okay. All right. And what is the trajectory on your income? Do you think, I mean, you're at 72 now, where will you be in three years? Uh, well, next year I'll be up to 85, hopefully. I mean, that's the plan. And then in three years, over 100. Okay. All right. So not a big hit on your budget uh, over the scope of your life for her to come home. Uh, sure. Especially we, when... we are spending about 12000 on daycare a year. Yeah. And you're spending money on her travel and her clothing for work and her... Uh, you're probably spending some extra money on food that you wouldn't spend if she were at home cooking. And so if she comes home and becomes consignment sale queen and coupon clipping queen and uh, cook from scratch, which is better for you and a lot cheaper, uh, queen, then uh, she probably, y'all can probably come close to breaking even with her coming home. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I figured. Um, like I said, we're in baby step two right now. Our goal this year is to pay about 30000 in debt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the one other thing that she wanted me to ask is if you were opposed to, instead of paying the smallest debt first, paying our highest payment first. I wouldn't so do that. So, for example, no, on the I, I car, would, we owe two fifty a no, month. I would, pay the, I would pay the smallest debt off first. I'd work the debt snowball the way we teach it. It works that way. And it's not, it's not okay. a payment issue. If you want to get rid of that payment, sell a car. But, um, sure. And because that's what we're talking about, but, uh, um, it, you know, it, that that's, or maybe you wait till X debt is paid and then she comes home, you know, or, or something like along those lines, but it, it's borderline. Now here's the thing. She really is going to have to be a true home economist in every stretch of the imagination for this to work. Okay for this to work on the short term. On the long term, it works fine because your income shoots up so fast. And then you guys have to live on nothing. You have a lot of debt. Right. You have a real mess. Right, you're right. That we know. Yeah, and so it's going to be, I mean, you're going to have three years of beans and rice, rice and beans, maybe four. To yeah, get, that's, that's about what I figured it out. Yeah, yeah. To, get this, to get this mess cleaned up. And so, yeah. Yeah. But I, I would, I would come on home and, uh, if that's her desire to do that. And, uh, the other thing she could do is consider doing some work from home or starting a small business from home. That's kind of the business boutique movement that has blown up with a lot of ladies who are very capable, but want to spend time with their babies at home, but also around that are, are starting and operating small businesses of all kinds. I mean, anything from accounting services to graphic arts to Etsy stores or eBay stores to whatever. I mean, I don't care, it, 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 but it's not, believe me, it's a lot of very professional things and a, a lot of arts and crafts things and a lot of writing and a lot of different ways are marketing themselves and actually can make sometimes more money doing that 
uh, a lot of times more money than they could uh, with a low paying job of some kind. So there's quite an entrepreneurial explosion among moms wanting to be at home. Businessboutique.com for more info on that. This is The Dave Ramsey Show. Hey you guys, Rachel Cruz here. I hope you are enjoying The Dave Ramsey Show. And did you know that I have my very own YouTube channel? Yes, that's right. It's kind of better than the Dave Ramsey channel. Don't tell them I said that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So subscribe. And there's lots of videos about life and money. So while you're at it, if you want to check out a video, then you can check out how to do a monthly budget. It's one of the best videos out there.